and good Monday morning and happy Veterans Day observed. I'm Ashley Cunha with your Concho Valley This Morning update. In honor of Veterans Day on Sunday, Chapter 457 of the Vietnam Veterans of America held a special ceremony during their Vietnam Veterans Memorial. The World War I veterans were also honored during the service, as well as the Concho Valley Women's Veterans Association, who received a special paver dedication. While over 100 community members were present, including Mayor Brenda Gunter and Judge Floyd. While well, a pipeline ruptured just off of County Road 406 on Saturday on Cusenberry Road, which caused a massive fire and injured at least two individuals. According to the Sutton County Sheriff's Department, two crew members were digging for a new pipeline and ended up striking an existing line, causing major injury to one worker and a minor injury to the other. The blaze will continue burning until pressure gets exhausted. We'll have more updates as they become available. And animal adoptions and pies seem to go hand in hand, at least for Critter Shack Rescue. The Animal Rescue partnered up with HEV for a fun pie eating contest. The nonprofit group used the contest to help raise additional funds for the animals in honor of National Adoption Weekend. The winner received a $450 gift card to HEB. And the Locotary Society decided to help celebrate Thanksgiving with a bake sale where individuals could take home items to refrigerate for their Thanksgiving meal. It's the group's 36th annual fundraiser, but they had never put on a bake sale like this before. Their goal was to raise enough money for two scholarships, and the society president was happy to announce that they hit that total halfway through the sale. Now let's take a look at what's happening in weather with Taban Sharifi. Taban, our temperature is just getting colder today. They will continue to get even colder. We started in the 40s, and they're just going to continue to go down 42 degrees by 9 o'clock. 40 as we head into lunchtime, and then we'll see the 30s as we head into 3 o'clock. Those winds staying gusty out of the north, 15 to 25 miles per hour, gusts to 35. And as we head into tonight, we'll see those temperatures in the 20s, 26 for your overnight low, decreasing cloud cover, a freeze warning in effect from 6 p.m. all the way through 9 o'clock on Tuesday. But as we head into tomorrow, those temperatures will be still cool, 45 degrees, but plenty of sunshine. Shine.